okay one more today I'm just going to make this a really quick one here though I have blue dye in here this is an old jar that my grandma had that I never used for anything and I'm like yep that's going to be my that's going to be my dye pot so I am I have two more hanks of acrylic yarn that has soaked overnight in salt water and I am going to try dip dyeing. I will um, heat up the water. It's already heated. I'm going to turn it back some actually. Um, and I will <laughs> gruelingly stand here and hold it for 10 minutes at one level, 10 minutes at another level, or maybe five minutes. The last time I did well, I'll let you know what I do. I'll just keep an eye on it as I'm doing it. So this is just going to be a, a very quick one. I'm not gonna go through all of the details and stuff, but you'll get to see, get right to the results pretty much. So, um, I'm gonna turn off the video and get started. Oh, and something I want to add about this is, um, well, I mean, of course I want to dip dye, but the main purpose of this experiment is to see if it's possible to get vibrant colors. I mean, I've been doing, so far everything has been variegated on purpose. Um, I mean, sure, you can buy blue yarn anywhere all day long, but I um, want to see if I can get dip dyed vibrant colors from... Uh, I'm sorry, I did not clarify that this is basic dye with yarn that has been soaked in salt. Um, canning salt is what I use because there's no iodine, no additives. It's natural. Um, so yes, this is going to also see if I can get some vibrant colors. Okay, so the first level Hold on a second. Okay. So the first level, which you can't really tell any difference, oh, which I'm curious about, but oh. the first section, like right about to there, I guess, was in there for about a half an hour. And then the second, the section right here, has been in there for, let's see, about 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the end of the white, that, I think that'll be interesting. I'm going to dip it down to like right right, about, right below my thumb there. I'm just going to dip it, just submerge it, move it around a little bit, and then take it right back out. I'm going to wait about another 10 minutes so, I, so that I'll be able to say it's been a half an hour. Um, well an hour actually for the lower half, a half an hour for the middle, and then like an instant for the oh, next section, and I'll leave the ends white, because I think that'd be pretty. And then we'll see if it makes any kind of difference. But I have been agitating it a little bit, so I don't know if that makes a difference too, because I, I do want some kind of uh, solidarity, I guess you would say, but I want variegation as far I want like ombre type effect and I don't know if that's happening here or not so um, another nine minutes and I'll just dip it below and take it up right on out let it cool and rinse okay so I did what I said I was going to do and um, well it looks like it's purple, you know, really, actually. Um, but on my phone, it looks blue, but it actually, this color right here, that dark area is blue. But, and then there's some blue, but it looks, there's blue. It looks like there's purple. I'm not sure. Let me try flash. Well, Pretty much the same. It still looks blue on the camera, but it's, it's it does not look blue to me. 
But anyways, I have not rinsed it yet, so um, let me get some hot water going first. But I can say that I do see variegation and it's actually showing up better in person than on the camera. But the section right here is a little lighter than this. And this section right here is lighter than that. So hopefully, okay, sorry, the water is so slow. Somebody just flushed. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't want it actually hot. I want warm. I guess we're going to get purple. <laughs> it's interesting. All right, let me um, off camera rinse this. And once I get it clear, I'll show you. Um, I want to show you real quick before I put it in the soapy water that there is variegation. Um, well, the white, as soon as I dip, as soon as I put it in the water with the rest of it, immediately turned lavender. So, okay, well, we'll see if the soap does anything to it. Um, as you can see, I'm still getting some bleeding, but variegation, ombre, yay, accomplished. But yeah, I'm going to run some more water in here and let it soak in some soap. To hopefully get the rest of the bleeding out. Something I forgot to add about this ombre down here is that I did not use vinegar. So I think that might have made a difference, actually. Maybe it would have been blue instead of purple. But I'm really loving how this turned out. It's gorgeous. It's almost dry. Just gorgeous.